So nicotinic receptors sit on the projections of a whole variety of different neurons. So they apparently mostly act in the CNS as positive autoregulatory receptors where they enhance the release of other neurotransmitters, including acetylcholine, including dopamine, including serotonin, um, and uh, glutamate, GABA. And so they act as modulators of the neurotransmission of these various systems. And we think that uh, nicotinic receptors are particularly important in the maintenance of attention and secondarily memory as well. And so we believe that stimulating nicotinic receptor function chronically may actually enhance many of the mechanisms uh, that appear to deteriorate in Alzheimer's disease. Now, some have argued that nicotine, nicotinic receptors desensitize very rapidly, which is true in vitro. However, uh, what we, we do not see that in vivo. And so in our pilot study we published in 2012, we did not see evidence of desensitization or loss of effect. Uh, in fact, actually, the cognitive benefit improved over time uh, and peaked at uh, six months. And so we don't believe that there is an immediate or a rapid loss of effective nicotinic stimulation on cognitive function. And for those uh, patients who suffer memory loss, we think that nicotinic stimulation represents another way to augment neurotransmitter-based cognitive mechanisms. And certainly, the uh, this is not obviously a single bullet or a silver bullet for Alzheimer's disease. This is one tool. Um, we think that nicotinic stimulation could be a nice complement to other molecular strategies for Alzheimer's disease, such as anti-amyloid strategies or other um, mechanisms which improve uh, brain function.